what's up welcome back to Memphis lovers page um, it is I Memphis lover I just wanted to come by and to drop and show you guys some um, what I picked up today for the SDCC um, 2019 um, San Diego Comic Con so yes I'm here in Florida of course not in San Diego not on the West Coast um, but I did have to work and run some errands today I was able to go by a few stores to see what was out what was remaining because I'm not the type of person not for this to get up and uh, miss work or to take off early to go to um, I didn't they didn't really have anything that I was like to die for type of thing as far as the, the pops they released um, today but I did want to show you guys what I got some was dealing with the SDCC some I just saw it I'm like hey I'll go ahead and get it I don't have it added to my collection why not no I have not forgotten I'm still going to show you guys what's back here like that one and that one and that one too <laughs> so don't worry I will come back and show you uh, piece um, by piece different collections in that compromise and makes my collection so without further ado let's go ahead and get started did pick up the Aladdin from Hot Topic yes pick up the Aladdin um, went ahead and got this one because I saw uh, another youtuber picked it up for $15 so I'm like hey it's only $15 a Hot Topic if your Hot Topic still has one go ahead and pick it up why not um, so it does come with the um, let's see what's that focus yes the Aladdin toy Abu um, just like how the um, the Lion King came with the uh, what is his name? Is it Zazu was in a rib cage. Same thing with that one. Um, this one you come with the little genie keychain. As you see there, boop 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 boop. Genie keychain, hot topic. Um, you also get a pin with the uh, beetle on it in purple. So that's a, that's a little cool little thing. I'm not going to use it. Might put on my motorcycle vest. Might might not who knows then you have this which is number 554 the Aladdin and Jafar Jafar is the serpent as you can see boop 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 yeah there you go um as you know I don't take these out the box of course for the time being I'm keeping everything in the box just so you guys see how it looks from all sides and the bottom so yes, um, so that's that one. And oh, by the way, I did go and get another shelf. So I will be, as soon as I'm done with this video, I will, will be putting up my uh, third shelf. Um, gonna be my, my last shelf for a while. I've been buying a lot of pops here lately. Too many. All right, so the next one, um, these two I purchased from a guy off of uh, Offer Up. It was two for 20. Um, from Walgreens collection so first one I've already put in a soft uh, soft protector was is the spider-man noir so that one uh, number 409 um, so this is uh, into the spider-verse so I ended up getting this one so Walgreens exclusive comes uh, very nice I really do like it like I said it's already in a protector but yeah I'm gonna get my spider-man and my Iron Man game up and then this one is uh, unexpected one that I was not expecting to get, which is Friday the 13th, 611, Jason the Voorhees. Um, I don't have any scary or horror or villain, besides Jafar here, um, type of, uh, of pops, unless you want to count Hydro Man and Molten Man and Mysterio, which I thought Mysterio was actually a good guy until I saw the movie. Sorry for the spoilers for the ones who haven't watched it. But yeah, he threw me off with that. But it's, it's a good movie. I might want to go back to see it again. But yeah, 6 11, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. Actually, I was born on the 13th, so that is a little fact there. So I might keep this in my collection. Um, right now, it's on a PPG, it's worth $22. Um, might keep it, might flip it, might trade it. I don't know. We'll see how that works. Uh, so I don't have anything else in my collection to go with it. Like it's going to be by itself, basically. Um, so I went by Barnes and Noble. Uh, not Barnes and Noble. Uh, uh, Bam, Books of um, Books a Million, and I found this one. James Rick James, number one hundred. Uh, Pop Rocks was very excited to find that was not expecting to find it at the mall um so of course i had to pick that up why not this is rick james 
he came out with some good tracks, him and Tina Marie back in the day again, given my age, you know. what well, I didn't listen to it, my mom did. So I grew up listening to her, listening to it basically. <laughs> Singing Fire and Desire and stuff like that. Man, please. All right, so two more. Um, also, went by GameStop. The first GameStop I went to, because I kind of remember off the top of my head what stores released what. Um, so I went by one GameStop and they didn't have what I was looking for. So I went to another one. I called another one, which was across town, about an hour, and I was like, dude, I really don't want to drive out there that, that, you know, that far for this particular pop. I mean, I like it. If it was nearby, cool. So I was able to find word near, uh, one nearby, um, and since it was a limited edition for the SDCC, um, they couldn't just really put it on hold for you. Um, so, Batman. Yes, got the Batman, the teal, chrome colored one. So this is like my third or fourth Batman in my collection now. And I saw them and I thought it was a pretty cool color. Why not add this one um, to my collection? But yes, I do like that one. So that's um, the what fifth one I picked up. And then also I went by Hot Topic. Um, so some Hot Topics were sold out. Like as far as that Batman, a lot of GameStops were sold out of that one. Um, some of the other stuff I was seeing as I was going to stores, it's, it's not my interest. I'm not really into anime or anything like that. So, I mean, that's not the type of pops that I would collect. You want to know what pops I collect? Come back. You'll find out. I promise you. And so, also from Hot Topic, I was able to get the Super Saiyan Vegeta. As I said in my last video, I'm not really into Dragon Ball Z. Never watched the cartoon. I just started watching Dragon Ball on Hulu. Um, and to, you know, try to get into it. And I was trying to find out where I can stream Dragon Ball Z besides Amazon. Um, but you have to pay for it. It's not something you get free with Prime. So I end up just picking up this Vegeta, by the way, uh, number 154. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get it, of course, because I have the other two um, Dragon Ball Z's, which you'll see which ones I have. And of course, I think about my brother while I see it, because growing up in the morning, getting ready for school, this is what he was watching, freaking Dragon Ball Z, and I never understood it. Um, so yeah, that's why I end up picking up. So. Just uh, the some of the stores that participated in the SDC 2019. Um, also, so I am a member of Amino uh, app. Amino is like a cross between um, Instagram and Reddit is what everybody compare them to. Um, so I'm on a Funko uh, group that's on Amino. And they pretty much keep you up to date with everything. They share their pops online. They show you what's coming out at what store, if this one is available. Something like Facebook, uh, but these people all over. It's like not just in your specific area. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it. I'm actually more active on here than I am on my Facebook uh, Facebook uh, uh, parts, basically. So um, you have some that you can only get specifically from the show. From the looks of it, it's only about three of them. One, um, you can see the other two is actually grayed out. You have some from Amazon, was not interested in getting any of those. Barnes & Noble, I didn't see anything there. If I would have saw the Snoopy there, because when I went by there and didn't see anything, I probably would have grabbed that one. Box Lunch, I didn't like any of those that was there. <laughs> Entertainment Earth, I didn't order that. I'm not a Jaws type of person, of course. Um, FYE or For Your Entertainment, not interested in any of those. GameStop. Now, I might would have liked to get those two green aliens from The Simpsons because they glow in the dark. And I think those, if I were to get those, I would possibly actually take those out the box. Those would be ones that I would actually take out the box because of the way they're made. And I'm not keeping them as collectibles. I actually keep those as like decoration for my room. I mean, why not? But yeah, um, and of course, that's where I got the Batman from was GameStop. Um, Funko Shop, I may go on there and order the um, the bird, the toucan, because of course I have a bird. Her name is Charlie. She's an African Grey, and I, I like birds. Um, and she talks my ear off. You all may meet her. Um, so that's the only one I saw from the Funko Shop that I may be interested in getting. Hot Topic, besides the Dragon Ball Z one, I didn't see anything else. Um, depending on which one you went to, some of them were very low on Dragon Ball Z. Some had like a whole shelf full of them. Um, Target, I didn't see the Wolfman. I probably would have gotten the Wolfman. Zoolander, I'm not too keen of. Uh, Walgreens, so the Walgreens I went to, I went to actually two locations. They told me to come back Friday, maybe even Saturday. Like they got the truck in, they haven't been able to get to it. So they're either going to put their stock out either Friday afternoon, Friday evening, or Saturday. So I might not make that. I'm just going to be real. 
Uh, went by Walmart, but I didn't even go look at their Funko Pops. Why? Because me looking at the list is nothing I was interested in. And Toy Tokyo. Nah, not interested in any of those either. So I'm, I'm, I'm simple like all the other stuff. I don't know what that is. Um, but I did want to talk about um, the PPG. Um, so say for instance right now with my collection and I've already tagged these into my collection. I have the Funko app of course on my phone. Um, so my collection right now I have a total of 153 uh, total Funko Pops. Um, with the total value estimated of $2,195. But about 20, 15 and 20 of my Pops are not calculated because they're showing up as blanks. So that's not including with that. Um, what I'm not understanding, so say for instance, I have my eye on this um, on this uh, metallic V for Vendetta that this guy is selling here locally, and I've been contemplating getting it, um, knowing that it's worth over five now, and it's it's a good cool move. I just watched it recently to try to motivate myself to get this particular pop, um, but um, I don't know if I want to get it simply because I just bought the Ace Ventura a couple of weeks ago, and the value of it was over $300 when I first got it and I got a very good deal. I paid less than half of that for it. Um, and then uh, recently after I bought it, the price dropped to like 270 as far as the value. And I don't, I heard that the way they calculate it is that the internet, uh, with the systems, they calculate all the sales it's going for. So my question is if someone in down in the, the, the comments explain to me how this works because of course some people they don't buy the real pops they say well hey i just want to add the pop to my collection because i like it regardless if it's real or fake so you have people selling fakes all the time from china or they have a supplier in china that, that sends it to them from cal to california and then you're, they're shipping it from california to you so my question is how does the system know which funko pops are real versus which pops are fake for them to calculate so that means if say for instance michael jackson <clears throat> I've been wanting to get the Michael Jackson Smooth Criminal, um, but at the same time, you go on eBay, that's the only place I can find it. Um, when you go on eBay, you see all the Michael Jacksons, and they're very different in prices. So you can see some for like 30, 40 bucks <clears throat> versus some for like three, 400 bucks. So how do I supposed to know for one, which one is real? Besides looking at pictures, how does the system know that, hey, this one is sold for 30, 40 dollars? Oh, that's a fake one. Uh, so we're not going to include that in the pricing. So all of that is like, it's, it's mind blowing because I feel like, okay, when people sell fakes, does that devalue the price of my actual legit authentic pop, you know? So that's something that I don't really understand. And I think it's a good topic because, I mean, I'm getting into, I'm just getting into this. I've been in, in it now for about a year. And I'm, I'm collecting for value, for um, for fun, for amazement, for decoration, for the fun of it. I mean, it is fun being able to go Funko Pop hunting and going to different stores and to be able to show off my collection. I'm proud of my collection, most definitely, because I've searched high and low from the pops that I have. But I mean, I just want somebody to explain to me, or we need to get together and contact Funko, like, hey, what's up with these prices and the value fluctuates? And I mean, I understand the value fluctuates. I mean, that's life. Everything fluctuates. But how can it differ dif differentiate <laughs> the pricing difference between a fake pop being sold online and a real one, an authentic one, a general, like a real one being sold? Like, I'm, I don't understand how the system does that. Okay, I'm done with that particular rant. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I received today. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the sleeves that I got here that's ready and these soft protectors. Um, also, once I'm done doing this, I'm going to go ahead and put up that, uh, that third shelf. So the next time you guys see me, it will be three shelves behind me instead of just two. Um, and also, I had a, have a window here, a nice size window that I just put a uh, what is that called <laughs> I went to Walmart and I purchased um, some blackout uh, drapes to put right there simply because um, I was posting online on Facebook how I had my stuff displayed because I don't want my pops behind one another I want to be able to see each and every one of them and I don't want to take it out the box so they were asking on there hey just you know show us your Funko Pops how you have them displayed for ideas and to be able to show them off and this and the other so of course I did that and a guy hit me up just like you know you know with your pops being near the, uh, the sun they can't get sun damage I'm like man so after a prolonged 
you know exposure to the sun which makes sense i mean there are there are plastic so why wouldn't that uh make some type of um i mean it harms anything like your, your car sitting out in the sun um or you know something like you have something on paint it can mess up your paint job i mean that's with anything i didn't think about that so since i have my pops over here on this wall um <laughs> my room is like really all over the place right now um i probably start with uh start recording in my studio rather than my room i just turned my bedroom into a studio as well with lights and cameras and microphones and screens and everything everywhere anyhow back to the point i ended up putting uh the drape up to black out which is also good for my projector so in the daytime because i don't have a television i do everything play video games watch youtube everything on my projector it's a bigger screen bigger real estate and i like the, the look of it you know i want to be different i don't like being like everybody else with a, a television the television i did have well i do have i uh, took it to my studio so when i have an artist to come by or if i'm collaborating with somebody else can have something in the background playing anyhow um i think that's about it that i want to talk to you guys today about because i don't want to ramble too much um uh so like subscribe comment let me know what you guys would like to see on my channel um like i said i'm a very well-rounded person i'm into a lot of different stuff um if you want to talk about remote control cars i'm very much so into that i used to race my car i was contemplating getting rid of it and i brought took it out the other day and i'm like no nah, i can't get rid of my my car like at all I, I have it set up the exact way that i want it i got the extra bodies the extra tires the extra rims the lights like everything on my car and it, it's super super fast super sweet like i couldn't do that i couldn't get rid of the car um so i think i'm gonna hold on to it but i have been buying some extra pops uh i'm going to start putting a little stash away so that i can start doing giveaways for you guys um so i'm um, gonna go ahead and end this here so i go ahead and get started with the rest of my days because i do have to go to work in the morning so don't forget subscribe like comment share let me know what you guys think what you want to see on the video and i'll see you next time peace